Hello, fellow Elemental enthusiasts. Today, I'm thrilled to share something special with you, which is my very first Elemental widget. But before we dive into that, let's take a moment to reflect upon your Elemental knowledge. So, in the comment section below, I would like you to answer this question. How well do you think you know Elemental? I'm curious to see what your confidence level is. Also, if you're not aware, Elemental is hosting the 2023 Show Off competition where you can win fantastic prizes. If you created a website using Elemental before, then you can submit it. There's no harm in trying. It's good to have exposure. You'll also be able to build your confidence when you let your work out there. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link to it in the description below so you can check it out. So now, moving on, let's talk about what inspired me to create my first widget. So recently, I was browsing the Global Elemental Facebook community, which I always do, and I came across a poll asking, how well do you think you know Elemental? So people were giving lots of answers. Some admitted that they knew nothing about Elemental. Some said they knew just enough to get them by, while others claimed that they knew everything there is to know about Elemental. And that got me thinking that, how can I push my own knowledge further? Because I must admit, I don't know everything. So I decided to dive into the Elemental Developer Docs, which I would advise you to check out. It's quite interesting. You get to learn something new. And there may be features that you've never even heard of in Elemental, which are actually there. So while I was researching, I stumbled upon a topic which read, create a new Elemental widget. It sounded quite interesting to me, so I decided that, okay, let me give it a shot. And I read deeper into it. So to kick the ball rolling, I chose to tackle a popular question that a lot of people have been asking in the Elemental community, which is, how do I build a horizontal accordion? First, shout out to Imran, Andrea, Frank, and the rest of them who have created fantastic solutions already about it. And I'll leave a link to their videos in the description below and in the comment section so you can check it out for your own reference. But do that after this video, not before. First, finish my video. Thank you. So during my research, I discovered that there is one plugin that a lot of people use, which is called Unlimited Elements for Elementor. It allows you to create widgets easily, but I didn't want to rely on any third party plugin at all because of that. I didn't use that plugin, but it's a nice plugin. You can check it out. I just decided that I prefer to use Elementor's codes that they have already provided. They have an example in the developer docs, which I used. And to build it from scratch, I took the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript that I've already created using VS Code. Then I coupled it with a boilerplate I found on GitHub. And finally, I used Elementor's native accordion, and I saw how they structured it, and I used that as a guide for creating my own accordion widgets so we'll see how everything is in action now first we just have to install the plugin so we'll go to the plugin area then we'll search for our plugin and then we'll activate it then after that we'll check it out we we'll use it to design a demo template that we've seen on the internet so this is the template we're going to be working with so now let's go back to our edit page. I'll just drop in the widget that I created. And then all we have to do now is add in the content. So for the first one, it says first tab heading. So just change the title to then the content, just copy the content. Then Next thing we'll now do the styling, you can ignore the rest. It's the same thing, you can change it to second. And the rest of it, but I'll just not bother for now. So now the heading were positioned at the bottom. So just set it to end. Then I'll leave the title tag at H2. Next thing we'll go to the style tab. I'll start with the header. The header has the active, this is the normal state, the active state, and I'll just give it the hover state as well. So start with the normal state, so give it the background color. 
then on hover and on active, I just give it a darker color. So now when it's active, you have this dark color. And when you hover over it as well, you get that same dark color. So next thing we want is we can give it the content, also a background color. So this is the content. I made it because usually the content can have a background image, can have a background video or whatever. But for this, we just use the classic and then set it to the other color. There's a space between the heading and the content. If you want to take away that space, we just go back to the accordion. And then when you say space, distance from content, just set it to zero. And now it's adjusted back. We can adjust the width of the heading. For the header, we set the block size. So let's just, we can increase it however we want. And it will increase. We can set the typography let's say let's change the weight to maybe something bold and yeah that's it straight away we already have our accordion widget and it works so now that i've shown you everything about it i'll be honest the journey to create this widget wasn't a walk in the park it was quite tedious i've never done it before so it took me a while to understand where to put things and what to write, how to write it. And this has given me a newfound appreciation for all the page builder and plugin developers out there. You all are doing a great job. Uh, keep up the good work. It's definitely not easy. Previously, I've always been complaining, oh, why didn't they put this? Why didn't they put that? Well, then I realized that it's quite difficult for you to think of everything. You cannot think of every possible scenario there is always something i'll be missing so i really appreciate all of you you all are doing a good job but before we wrap up please do share your thoughts in the comment section below of how you think we can incorporate the elementals nested features into our widgets because during my research i couldn't find how to incorporate nested elements i could only use the default text editor widget so if you know how to do that please do leave it in the comment section below before we head out, don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe, and keep the conversation running in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And until next time, happy designing, and keep expanding your elemental knowledge. Bye.